Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to uh, do an AWeber blog broadcast. What a blog broadcast does is it allows AWeber to take the contents of your RSS feed and turn that into a newsletter that you can send out to your subscriber list. Doing that has several advantages. One, it creates content for your newsletter. And two, it makes your list available for feed burner to use and all your AWeber subscribers will be counted toward your feed burner feed counter. So if you have a lot of subscribers, that's a good way to instantly increase your counter. Right. So here's how you do it. First you go to AWeber and it's under messages. You want to choose blog broadcast. Right from here, you just click create new blog broadcast. This is where you enter your feed URL. So we'll go back to my blog here and we'll just right click and copy the link location. Paste that into AWeber. Now, from here, you, this is your send preference. I want to send my broadcast immediately when I have, oh, 10 new posts. You can also choose specific day if you want. Just click send automatically. This basically means that uh, once I have 10 new posts, they will automatically send out the newsletter. I don't have to do anything. If I uncheck that, then it won't send until I actually send it manually. So this is pretty much autopilot. You know, t every time I have 10 new posts, it'll send out it'll send out to my list. Enable tracking so you can track all the clicks. That's always a good feature to turn on. See how many people actually open your mail and actually read it and click on the links. This is where you choose your templates. There are a whole bunch of templates you can choose from to customize the look of your newsletter. Generally, I just use the uh, the basic text template, which looks kind of plain, but it gets the job done. But there are other ones like, you know, his Bigfoot, which looks like this, which looks quite fancy. But let's just take, for this demo, I'm going to just use the basic temp, the basic plain template. I click load template. Now it loads the template on there. It tells you this is what a subject line of the email. If you don't like what is, if you don't like these items that is list, you can actually change it. That's not a problem. And it's, it'll give you two versions of your newsletter. Of your newsletter, you got your plain text version, and it'll put the uh, the channel description, the link to your blog, and the items. The RSS item goes here. It's a. If you get confused with what these are, we did. Don't matter. It does, don't, don't bother. Send yourself a test email and then you'll see what each of these items is. Yeah. HTML template is basically the same thing. It's, it's as this one, but it's just an HTML. Generally, I, I like to uh, add my own little description between the name of the newsletter and the items that's inside the newsletter, like so. Yes, here's what I'm going to do right here. Okay. I'm going to add a little welcome message. All right, so I'm going to say, welcome to the miscellaneous rambling of the dot-com mogul newsletter. Here's what's been happening at johnchow.com over the past few days. Your comments and feedback are always welcome. Then it will list the last 10 posts and, of course, my my contact information. And I'll do the same thing for this as well, for the text version. Oops, I guess I should wrap it. Okay. All right, once that's ready, just... Yeah, everything looks good. If you like to look, just hit save. And that's it. Now, AWeber will check my uh, RSS. And once it detects that I have 10 new items, it will automatically send out a newsletter to all my subscribers with my 10 items. And to give you an idea, it looks something like this. All right, so here's what the newsletter will look like when it's sent out. You can see here's the uh, the name of my blog, the uh, link to my blog, and there's the little my personalized welcome message, and then you have the list of ten latest blog items and was and a summary of what it said, and we will link to the blog post. So they click on it, it will take them to the blog, and they can read the post. And that's how you add AWeber blog broadcasts.